Okay, Kelly, I want you to tell it like it happened, and we'll take it from there. Okay, well, it started when I was 15, and my parents sent me to straight. The first few nights were bad. I was in withdrawal. They kept me. They kept all of us locked in rooms every night. I never knew where I was except when I was in the facility. But at night, they would take us to other houses and lock us in. Unsurprisingly, it started with phase one. During this stage, all communication was cut off from the outside world. I wasn't allowed to talk to my parents at all. I couldn't make eye contact with other kids. I was basically wiped off the face of the earth. We weren't even allowed to go outside or read books. Other kids would yell at me every day and be rewarded for it as part of the treatment. And then there were blue chairs. All of the kids were hoarded into a huge room, like a cleared cafeteria, and put into row after row of blue chairs. Then we had to do what they called motivating. I guess they used words that others didn't know, like motivating or digits, to make it seem special. We'd hook our feet around the chair legs and then raise our hands in the air and flail them around violently and scream. I know it sounds stupid, but it was actually pretty terrifying because if you didn't do it loud enough, you would be screamed at excessively. We did this for 12 hours a day. After countless days of phase one, I finally psychologically broke. I mean, I had been a mess since day one, but this was when I let them grab me by the arm and twist. I confessed to doing things that they had said I'd done or been, but weren't true. I mean, I had been an alcoholic and I needed help from a place like AA, but I wasn't a major drug addict or thief or liar. They made me lose myself. When I broke, I remember pulling chunks of hair from my scalp and watching them fall to the ground. how I got to phase two was a whole lot of lying. False stories, false emotions, false tears over my false stories that provoked false emotions. And admitting I was the one drug addicted mess of a kid they told me I was. They let me go home. I mean, I still wasn't allowed to go to school, but at least it was better than being at straight. Straight Inc. did nothing for me except manipulate the way I saw myself and traumatize me. Luckily, I survived my suicide attempts, but others weren't less lucky. Straight was a cult. We were all manipulated by the program.